Again, here we go with the heat and humidity. It's going to be uh, dangerous to uh, feel like temperatures, right? Yeah, you know, we're going to reach levels where you, you just need to take some precautions. Okay. Patrick, make sure you stay hydrated. You're wearing loose fitting, lightweight clothing if you're spending the time outside. You take care of your pets, checking on your elderly neighbors and relatives as it is going to be a hot and humid stretch. And our live camera here in Providence, 74 degrees. The current temperature, the winds are calm, the humidity, it is running high. It's Triple H weather the next few days. Hazy, hot, and humid. High temperatures will be climbing up into the upper 80s to lower 90s, and we'll have that heat advisory in effect today and tomorrow. In addition to that, there is a thunderstorm threat. It's isolated today. More activity expected on Wednesday and Wednesday night before we turn a little less humid late in the week, starting on Thursday, lasting into the start of the weekend. It's looking like it's kind of short lived, though. Heat advisory again. This is newly issued overnight for this morning uh, through Tuesday evening. So a two day heat advisory. All the area shaded in orange, which includes everyone but the Cape and Islands. That's because of these feel like temperatures by uh, 8 a.m. feels like 78, 87. The heat index by 10 a.m. And then you can see it in the mid 90s this afternoon between 2 and 4 o'clock. We even see some spots that hit feel like temperatures in the upper 90s. Here is what it looks like right now. Lower 70s in Smithfield, Providence, 72 in New Bedford right now. Boston's warm start at 77. High at 74. Hartford in the mid 70s. And those dew points are running high today, tomorrow, and Wednesday as well before we start to get some relief on Thursday. Here's our live Doppler radar. And again, we've been tracking just a couple of isolated sprinkles that have uh, been moving across Connecticut. The little boundary over us right now, you can see the extra clouds with it. This is going to be pushing to the south and east. And the main focus for any showers and thunderstorms will come with this cold front that's over the Midwest right now in the central Great Lakes. That's slated to pass through here Wednesday and Wednesday night, moving offshore on Thursday. So that's when we have our best chance this week of seeing some showers and thunderstorms. But in all the heat and humidity, it definitely doesn't take much to spark an isolated storm. And so that's also in the forecast for today. Let's take you through the day and show you. So this is 10 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures feeling like they're in the lower to mid 80s by early afternoon where we've got a temperature in the upper 80s and lower 90s away from the coastline. We will get a cooling breeze off of the water at the coastline. And so that will give us the chance to be a little bit more refreshing along our shoreline. You can see late in the afternoon and early evening, just that isolated blip of green popping up in a few locations. That's that thunderstorm threat we mentioned in the 530 in the evening. The temperatures are still close to 90 inland. Any showers or thunderstorms in the evening will be tapering off with temperatures staying warm during the night. If you are headed to the beach, 84 degrees the expected high temperature along our shore. There is still like we had yesterday a moderate rip current risk. We'll have a pretty good wind off of the water that onshore flow here going to be kicking up the uh, the waves again along the shoreline and in the bay. We're looking at gusts to 20 knots, wave height around two to three feet, high tide 554 this morning. For your evening hours, warm and muggy will be the theme. Any isolated thunderstorms taper off with mostly clear but warm and humid conditions expected during the night will stay above 70 degrees next few nights. So I have us up into the lower 90s for tomorrow and those feel like temperatures will once again be up into the mid and upper 90s. We'll see a mainly sunny day for your Tuesday and then that shower thunderstorm threat expected on Wednesday and Wednesday night may wake up to a leftover shower Thursday, but it's looking like most of the day will be dry and turning less humid. We've got a warm and dry weekend ahead. Your full forecast.